Thank you, Jesus. Now we come this morning for a time of celebration, again to celebrate the life and legacy, amen, of Mother Jeanette Booker, who was a dear mother of the new generation church of God in Christ. Amen. And we are so blessed to be here. And we are going to move forward in our program on this morning. We're going to receive amen, the Old Testament scripture, which will come from the elder Melvin Mays of the New Generation Church. The New Testament scripture will be read by evangelist Mary Mitchell Bell of the New Generation Church. Immediately following the scriptures, we'll receive our prayer of comfort, which will be given by Pastor James Henderson. Listen, and, and I apologize. After which we've received the prayer of comfort, we'll then also prepare for the celebration of praise. Gospel recording artist, Chris Bender. Listen, and is it coming in order? And we're going to ask you to stand at this time as we prepare for those. I knew mother from the day she was saved at this church to the day she died. And all I can say is mother was holy. This scripture I'll read out the Old Testament, the Psalms, the 34th, 34th division, verses 18 through 22. And it reads, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and the they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The last verse, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust him shall be desolate. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Peace, what peace is needed. You'll die what's always needed. God, look. 
Tabernacle Church. Y'all jump up on your feet. Let's praise our God today.
staff for his presence, and superintendent has asked that we allow space for you to have words if you'd come at this time. Praise 
Lord, everybody. I'm sorry for the limp. I had a battle with some mosquitoes, and I lost. Giving honor to my pastor. Giving honor to my pastor, Sir Richard Andrews, and his lovely wife, First Lady Andrews. I'm here on behalf of the Mother's Board, which Mother Booker was a part of. Mother will always say she was the youngest. She was in age wise, but much older in spirit. I'm going to read a little a poem that I found that is very fitting for her. Remember, those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard but always near, still love, still miss, and always dear. Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I miss you until we meet again. Picture me as I was, full of life and love. Although not with you now, I'm watching from above. I know how much you'll miss me, and I will miss you. Mother Booker is gone from our sight, but never from our hearts. Thank you. Come on, can we celebrate the mothers one more time? At this time, we're going to receive a musical tribute or selection uh, from the brother Eric Gordon. At this time, let's say amen as he comes. Ah! Uh -huh. 
bless the Lord. We're going to receive at this time the legacy tribute by the brother Cardell Booker. The second is he comes.
we celebrate this wonderful family. And what a wonderful tribute, this wonderful sermon on this morning. And we are prepared for the eulogy. And we are going to receive my pastor. I'm honored to introduce the superintendent, Eric Andrews. I'm going to ask that you will stand all over the room on this morning in deference and respect for the word and for whom God has chosen to stand in the gap at this time. Let's amen.
you think you should not have your person. Look at somebody else and tell them I'm going to heaven. When I die, soon, I wish I had some saints somewhere in there. And very soon, I'm on my way to heaven. Look down the road and tell somebody, I'm on my way to heaven. Church, when this war is over, I don't have no believers. Y'all don't get funny here. Look at somebody tell them when this war is over. I'm going to lay down my head and turn.
joined this church on the first day of our first service in this location. Mother Booker has been with New Generation Church as a faithful member for over three and a half years. Certainly three and a half years cannot compare to the many years that she served as the first lady. I, I feel that it would be remiss to not honor the legacy. Because you can't think about Mother Booker when you get to the end and not honor the legacy of Bishop Cole. I want every member that ever served under the leadership of Bishop and Lady Booker past his pastor. Pastor Boy, is she here? Every member, if she was ever your first lady, I can say this because I knew Bishop and Mother before she died. I remember when they were, I believe, a spiritual order down there. They hadn't even gotten married, they were just dating and giving googly eyes. That's how old I am. The spiritual wonders, Kel and his brother, when he even thought of. You have to go back to the Church of the Living God day. Yes. Bishop Booker would call. He was just Brother Booker at that time. The Andrews Brothers, me and my brother, would yes. come and sing in the Church of the Living God when he was the minister of music. And the legacy of G Todd. Oh. I want you to stand and make some noise and let Brother Cordell know that you were here to show love and remember the years and the legacy of this family. I know you hear that. Come on. Come on. This is true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is fruit from the labor of your father and your mother. That would have been a G time. Without Mother Jeanette. Past three years, 
every person there. Two generation blessed motherfucker.
Yes, we will. Take care of you. Let's argue with Paul for a minute. I want to thank God for my longtime friend, owner. It's a blessing when you can have the head man in charge of the service. Dr. Reverend and yeah. the Utah Rescue. We can be honored him a long time free. We love the school. Yeah. And you know, you tell Rescue, you see a blanket bigger than this wall. Yeah. With a picture of the late Bishop Cordell Booker. This room yeah. carries that love. Yeah. Yeah. Cordell, I believe the people of the Lord are going to always hold you up. That's right. Can you see, man? Thank the staff of the G and certainly our mother's board who have been so diligent in helping us in this final tribute to Mother Booker. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, and the first verse. And I'm not going to hold you long. To all of these great gospel singers, can we thank God for them? These are friends. To show their love to him. The Apostle Paul leaves this on the record, the church at Corinth. For we know. Everybody say, For we know. That if this earthly house or Word dissolve. I have another house in the heavens. Not me. Not me. You have to be here say another house. Paul says, if this
is destroyed. With the tent, heavenly Savior is no longer in existence. We have another place. Yes, but James warns us that this tent is but a vapor that is vanishing away. My brothers and my sisters, as I'm getting ready to go into my seat, as we're sitting here today, we're leaving even now. Yeah. 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 My great uncle, the late C.C. Robertson, would always say, we are all tree leaves fading from the tree called life. Yeah. You have proof that you are vanishing. Yeah. If you don't believe it, go get to your book. You believe you're vanishing. Go look at some old family photo pictures. You don't believe you're vanishing. There was a time you could get up to go into a room and you knew exactly what it was you were going in there for. But now the proof that the leaves have a little fade in it is that you walk in a room now and say, well, I My next son over there, he'll get mad at me, he can't fight me, though. I won't be back to church. <laughs> the other week he was in, in my car and he said, I'm the dad, I can't find my glasses. What my glasses? He was tearing the fish ball in the back, looking for his glasses. And the Holy Ghost said, Look at him. And they were sitting right there. That's proof. <laughs> Doing all that they could. 
we have come to this close. Commit mother's body to the foul of the dirt, the foul of the ground, knowing that her soul shall rest with me. We do it from ashes to ashes. Waiting on that general resurrection. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, this young man needs you. Yes. These grandsons will need him. Yes, Lord. These siblings, family members, church will need you in the day yes, to come. Yes, Lord. Be that strength. Yes. God, we ask that you be that courage. And we celebrate her new home. Yes. yes. We celebrate that new house. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. If you love God, count those hands and praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, Mother got a new house. She down all choir members, all choir members, we have to do this for the book club. If you sing in the choir, you get to a church, your pastor not going to get you. <laughs> Come on down. Old and new, new G, G time, whatever the G's are. Come on, brother. Yeah, come on down. Come on down. Come on. Come on. We're going to sing this. Thank you. Look at the same thing. Mother Booker have a song. God, I love you today. Yes. Thank you. Come on, saints. We're going to rock this out for Mother. I'm on the battlefield. Yes. All right. We got to do this. On our way out. Come on, don't be ashamed. Come on down. Come on. Let it be a reunion. There's that. Where's the line? Come on down here. Is that Brother Eric Patterson? Come on down here. Come on. Come on, Brother Eric. Come on, Eric. These are Mother's children. Some of them live with Mother and Bishop. Come on, somebody. We got to do this for Mother Booker. Then I see Kiki in there. What's the way? I said, the red guys. What's the name of the red glasses? I said, man, no, no. Did I see my sister, baby?
years old. She's gone to another place in the house. And the Lord will keep you. I'll never leave you. That's what the 